Hello, I'm Mensa Augustin. I welcome you to my channel. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and if you are not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe to us to what the mathematics community. In this lesson, we'll be proving using a mathematical induction. So let's check this simple question. We have to prove using the principle of mathematical induction that for all n subset of natural numbers. 1 power 3 plus 2 power 3 plus 3 power 3 plus dot dot up to n power 3 equals into bracket n times into bracket n plus 1 bracket close all divided by 2 then all squared. That is you have to prove that 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus up to n cube is equal to into bracket n times n plus 1 divided by 2 all squared. So let's see how we do this. Now, first, we let the given statement to be Pn. In this case, we have 1 key plus 2 key plus 3 key plus up to n key equals into bracket n times into bracket n plus 1 bracket close all divided by 2 all squared be our Pn. Then we take n equals 1. So if we put n equals 1, then we are going to fill here by 1. So whatever we see n, we put there 1 in a very simple way. So we get 1 times into bracket 1 plus 1. That gives 1 times into bracket 2 divided by 2. So here 2 divided by 2. 1 times 1, 1. 1 squared is 1. And 1 squared is the same as 1 key. It means that if we put n equals 1, we have 1 key. Now, we move the inductive hypothesis stage. That is where we assume that pk is true or k is true for some positive integers k. So, we put in k into this, wherever we see n. So, we have, we sum from one cube up to k cube. So, if we sum from one cube up to k cube, then we are going to get k times k plus 1 all divided by 2 all power 2. Now, if k is true for some positive integers k, then k plus 1 is also true whenever pk is true. So we sum from 1 key up to k plus 1 key in a very simple way. And if we do that, this is what we are going to get. That is, we replace this n by k plus 1. This n by k plus 1. In a very simple way. Now, here is the trick. Here is the trick, right? You see that if we sum from 1 key up to k key here, this is what we get. So it means that if we sum from one key to k key, we can replace this part by k times k plus 1 all divided by 2. Then, wow, we square in a very simple way. Plus, we have k plus 1 power 3. So this expression should be simplified to get what we have here in a very simple way. So let's see how we simplify this expression. So with regards to this, we can open this bracket to get k squared into k plus 1 squared divided by 4 because 2 squared is 4 plus k plus 1 power 3. Wow. Now, let me do away with this part. So, here we have k plus 1 squared and k plus 1 key. So, you can factorize k plus 1 squared out. And here we'll be left with uh, k squared divided by 4 plus k plus 1 in a very simple way. Wow. This multiplies this, it will give us this 
k plus 1 squared multiply k plus 1, we get k plus 1 t. So we have k plus 1 times, we simplify this to get k squared plus 4k plus 4 divided by k in a very simple way. Oh, sorry, divided by 4, right? Wow. So this is going to give us, um, this is a quadratic expression. So we factorize this quadratic expression, right? So let's do the factorization here. This uh, is simply k squared plus 2k plus 2k plus 4. This gives a k into k plus 2 plus 2 into k plus 2 in a very simple way. So this is going to give us k plus 2 multiplied by k plus 2. And this is k plus 2 repeatedly. That is repeating twice. k plus 2 twice. So it gives us k plus 2 squared. Wow. Now I doubt how to simplify this or factorize this quadratic expression. We multiply 4 by the coefficient here 1. We get 4. Then look for factors of 4 so that if we add, we get 4. That is 2 plus 2. So we put in 2k plus 2k and then proceed to factorize. So we can write this as k plus 1 times, wow, k plus 2 squared all divided by 4. Wow. In a very simple way. So you see that this one can also be put into this form n squared, wow, here it is squared, times n plus 1 squared divided by 4. So if we are to put it in this form, then we are done. In case in your exam, you get it in this form, when you reach here, that's all. Wow. But if we want to put it in this form, then we proceed as follows. Wow. This will be k plus 1 squared times k plus 2 squared all divided by 2 squared. And you see that from loss of exponent, if I have a squared, if I have a power n, b power n, then c power n, it all takes a times b on c all power n. So we have power 2, power 2, power 2. So this will give me k plus 1 times k plus 2, all divided by 2, all power 2. Wow, hence we proved. But why is it not equal to this one? You see that this is plus 2. So we can write this one as k plus 1. So we hear that k plus 1 is representing the end into k plus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 all power 2. So you see that our n is k plus 1. Then the n there is k plus 1 plus the one that we have here. So we can say that by the principle of mathematical induction, uh, whenever pk is true, then pk plus 1 is also true. So shown by induction that uh, the statement is true for all positive integers n or for all n subset of natural numbers. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and leave your comments.